another attempt at a landscape with a silicon basting brush because they're fun to do and they go quick um, so again wetting the paper wetting the sky only trying to have a, a horizon line in mind while I'm wetting the top two-thirds of the paper and same colors so oh, I I really like this undersea green from Daniel Smith for trees in the distance and then brown matter from Winsor and Newton I think those two colors go really well together I put a little bit too much red um, into the sky there which will I think come back come back to haunt me later on and same approach on the other side mixing the two together you get a nice warm brown colour defining the edge of a road and a bit of details into the hills what I like about this brush is if you fill it with paint you get a very, some very definite marks initially and then the paint runs out very quickly and then you get very thin marks which break up on the paper just trying to define the uh, the fields left and right of the road same approach, slightly darker, the nearer the nearer you get to the, the front of the painting, the darker the mix of paint. Try not to think too much too hard about what I'm doing. And just giving direction to the road. A lot of these paths or roads near where I live, they have no growth to the left and the right because vehicles travel along them and, and kill any anything that tries to grow. But in the middle, there's quite often um, a verge of grass which grows up in the middle of the tracks. So that was what I was painting there. Just redefining the, the horizon there bit more contrast same there just strengthening the feel of this is where the road ends and just redefining just defining the the actual shape of the road this is a, a ruling pen a slightly smaller one than I used to paint with. It has a, a quite a, a rounded nib to it or tip to it which allows me to push it into the paper. I could probably use a, a cone holder for this but uh, I think it might be a wee bit too sharp so I'll stick with my ruling pen and just pushing indentations into the paper. Let's little bit of extra paint run into the indentations and creates um, a darker colour compared to the colours around it. You can also use it to scrape away some of the colour so creating some white highlights in the grass. Just about make those out. So sorry I, put, I forgot to switch the camera on to start the sky so I've just used the uh, paints blue grey
can see various things that I rest the board on, different heights. That was the sky done, very simple. And adding a fence on the right hand side. Just judging the perspective by eye. Just using my number four basting brush to tie the post into the ground there. And this is a second ruling pen once we get it going for the uh, posts which are further away, which are obviously very small, very thin. And using the same pen to add the ropes between the posts and then just gradually widening the, the gap between the two parts of the pen. The closer you get to the camera, the thicker the, the ropes need to be. Just using up the paint that's in there, a little bit of grass, grass or twigs. That's me thinking, do I need a a fence on the left and yes we do so we put one in quickly just imagining that that brown clump of something um, is midway into the in, the in the middle distance and so the posts behind it I stop them when I paint them, so I stop at the brown grasses or bush or whatever you want to think it is. Same with the ropes there, not going through the brown blades of if they're grass or a bush. And again, just using the pen to tie the posts into the ground. That's it. Not convinced about the red bloom in the sky. But onwards and upwards. Thanks for watching. Bye.